So what is the purpose of content and content marketing anyway? Hmm? I'm going to reveal all in this video. Hey everyone, I am Robin the Copy Bitch, that is Stewie, my sidekick sloth. And today we are going to talk about what the heck is content marketing? What's the purpose of content and content marketing anyway? Huh? Okay, relax. I got you. I know it can be confusing. Now, first of all, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a freelance copywriter. I have been one since 2002. I also answer to the name content marketer. I use the terms interchangeably because most people do who aren't in copywriting or content marketing land. So it's just easier. Don't come for me. And if you want to know more about why I use them interchangeably, you can see this video somewhere up here and I'll also link to it below. But today we're going to talk about what is content marketing and what's the purpose of content in content marketing. So I'm going to unpack it for you. And to do so, I'm going to use a little fun analogy with online dating. So you get onto your online dating app of choice, whether that's Match or Bumble or Hinge or Grindr or Tinder or Click or Clack or whatever it is these days that the kids are using. For the record, Mr. Word Nerd and I used OkCupid and that's how we found each other. So people go online, they make their profile, they have a hazy idea of what they're looking for and they put in some of those buzz keywords and they put a little, you know, picture and stuff. Meanwhile, on the other end, the people who are also looking for matches, they filled out a profile for what they're looking for with some of those same keyword phrases. And the algorithm does its magic and matches people. Okay, and that's a very basic explanation as to how search engines work. Essentially, someone goes to a search engine, they plug in a query, and then Google, with its very, very deep and complicated and secret algorithm, decides what websites to surface first. And then there are, of course, paid ads and things like that. But it all comes down to, well, it doesn't all come down to, it starts with the keyword phrases. And then there are a lot of other things that are at play, but just hear me out. Go with the thread. This will all make sense in the end, I think. So getting back to the online profile, someone sees that they're a match. Let's say her name is Susie and her match is Paul. And Susie and Paul they look at each other's profiles, they do the little winking, they do a little poking, they do a little, I don't know what happens anymore these days, but they're doing the thing and they decide, hey, let's get together for a coffee date. Now, Susie is the one who put up her profile and Paul is the one who reached out to her. So Paul is kind of the one who's like eager to like get Susie's business, if you know what I mean. But here's the thing. When they meet for that first coffee date, if Paul immediately went from coffee to dropping on his knee and saying, will you marry me? Susie would be pretty freaked out. And that's the equivalent of someone going to a website, you know, after doing an initial search and immediately the business is like, buy from me, buy from me, buy from me. It's just going to freak people out. That's not, they're not ready to buy yet. They're ready to be wooed. Okay. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're, you know, what you are, who you are, anything like that. We are people who like to be wooed. We're humans. We like to be wooed. So the same is true whether you are a buyer, a prospective buyer, or you are someone on an online dating app. In most cases. I mean, I suppose if you're looking for the casual shag, you're able to like, you know, bypass that. But even still, even if you're just looking for the casual shag, you're probably not looking to like have someone drop to their knee and say, marry me because, okay. So that's where content marketing comes in. When you are a prospective buyer and you land on a website that's been served up to you from Google, hopefully you land on a page that answers whatever your query was about. Maybe you have a question about how to size, you know, a rug for a room. You're not ready to buy the rug yet. You're just trying to get a sense of what size will work in your living room. So you end up on a blog on a rug company site, which is fair. They're the experts and they tell you explain very carefully, here's how you measure the right rug for your living space. And they, you know, have, you know, all sorts of little charts and dimensions and they have tips and tricks and stuff like that. Well, someone had to write that content. Someone had to put that together. Someone had to make it easy to read and digestible and skimmable. And that person usually is a content marketer or a copywriter or a freelance writer. Again, I use those words interchangeably. And then at the end of that blog post, even then, <laughs> if the business is doing it the right way, they're not asking immediately to say like, okay, now you know how to measure, buy from us. They might have some subtle buy links in there. They might have, you know, a graphic that talks about a sale that's going on and that's fine. 
But again, the person wants to be wooed. So the best thing you can do in that situation is as the person gets to the bottom of that awesome article about how to measure their living room rug and to decide what size is to, is to lead them to another piece of content to continue wooing them with something that might be interesting. So playing along, riffing off of that might be, here's you know how to decide what color goes best in your room. Do you have light walls? Should you get a light rug or should you get a dark rug? Is your furniture, you know, wood? And if so, what sort of rug should you get? Is your, you know, furniture dark gray? Then what sort of rug should you get? So maybe there's a whole blog post about color theory and how to determine what color your rug should be. And the person keeps reading deeper and deeper. They're continuing to be wooed by this company that seems to just know them so well and is getting their pain points and is hearing them. All the questions they have, it's like they're anticipating it and giving them more content and videos and charts and things like that. You see that how this is going, how this little romance is happening? That's the purpose of content and content marketing. You are wooing that prospective buyer. You're showing them that you or that your client who you're writing for is the best match for their needs or not, depending on what's going on. So that's what's happening with content marketing. You, and that's why it's so important. That's why there's so many different moving parts and why you need good writers in order to create it and why chat GPT and AI just hasn't quite gotten there yet. It might someday, but it's just not there because we have to think like humans and we have to like know what they're thinking. And we only humans can do that. AI can't do that. We know what people are thinking. We know what they're anticipating. We know what's going to satisfy their needs. We know what they're going to want to do next, or at least the good writers and smart people are going to know how to do that. So that's my little analogy for content marketing and how it's very similar to online dating. And I guess I kind of lost the thread there with the online dating, but it's true. So if Susie and Paul go out for coffee and Paul drops to his knee and asks for her hand in marriage, that's going to be like, mm, no way, mister. I don't even know you. The next smart step for Paul to do instead of dropping to his knee is be like, hey, you know, this coffee date went well. Do we want to go out to dinner? Okay. That's like the next step. So from one blog post to another blog post, from coffee date to dinner, then maybe to a movie, and then maybe you go out on a picnic, and then maybe you go bowling or play pool or I don't know, all the things, right? Before you get to the marriage proposal, before you get to the sale, okay? So that, that's the metaphor, the analogy. The marriage is to the sale. The wooing is to the blog content. That works, right? I think so. So there you have it. What is content marketing? What's the purpose of content and content marketing? Hopefully my little odd and hopefully entertaining analogy kind of explained how it works. And if you have questions, of course, leave them in the comments because I love answering questions. I am Robin the Coffee Bitch. That's Stewie, my sidekick's off. We will see you on the next video. Bye.